Ford clutch is all set up, ready to go for a clearance check. So the Ford clutch feed hole is going to be right here, right next to the direct clutch feed hole on the pump. So we're going to put some air in there, and then we're going to watch the dial indicator to see what kind of travel we have. Now the um, the piston is going to move a, a very small amount of you know, a very small amount of distance before it actually starts moving the friction. So if, you know, if that's the case, then I need to actually take that into account and subtract it from the overall reading so that I have an accurate measurement. All right, so let's go. You know, again, you know, very little air is needed here. It has full compression, 62 thou. Let's try that again. It looks like 62, so now I gotta see at what point on this on this uh, gauge where the the clutch pack actually starts to move all right so it looks like it's right around between 35 and 40 thousandths of an inch and then at like 61 or 62 it achieves full compression 62 minus say 30 is 32 thou that would be fine. 62 uh, minus 35 thou would be like 27 thou. That would also be fine. So I'm going to say the, the clearance is somewhere in that range, uh, 27 to 32 thousandths of an inch, which is right where it needs to be. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, check the direct clutch. So direct's going to feed through this hole right here. And what we're going to do is Introduce a little bit of air. Again, you don't need a lot of air. Uh, this thing will jump up right off the pump if you put enough air into it. Let me reset the dial indicator to zero, and then we'll see how far this travels. Again, we're looking for like 98 to 160 thou. Do it one more time. All right, so we're at 121,000. It's pretty solid. I'm happy with that.